on the air. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Chattanooga Lookouts and the Jackson Generals. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. And with that, here's a look at the visitors' starting lineup. Who's the one to watch, E.K.? Well, I'll be keeping an eye on what that leadoff hitter can do in this one. His on-base percentage over the last 10 games is over 500. He's been absolutely on fire at the plate, so they're going to have to be very careful about how they approach him. Jason Hanson, the West Virginian, gets the call to start this one. What do you have for us on him, E.K.? Well, guys, his whip is above league average. Been dependable, but does run into some trouble. So we'll see how he feels. Number 55 will get his first shot here. Two hits in five trips a night ago. Well, this guy's hitting over 300 on the year now, and he had a good performance yesterday as well. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Around third and being waved on home. And they're able to get the ball in quickly, so he'll be held to a single with one away. And they're going to take a 1-0 lead as the run comes across to score. Yeah, and you know, after a tough loss in game one of this series, that's a nice job here to pick up a first-inning RBI. That gets his guys out in front right from the start, maybe turning things around. Seth Smith will stand in now, happy that this series is at home, no doubt, as you see his splits right there. He's running towards second, and here's a ball hit in the air. And that'll get down for a base hit. Throw comes in quickly from left, so even on the hit and run, they'll hold thanks to first and second. Jesus Montero will stand in. He comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. Now both runners on the move. A swing, and he pops him up on the infield, and the infield fly rule will be in effect here. Throw back to second, and that's a double play. A run on two hits, and they leave one. On now to the top half of inning number two. Stepping in, Manny Tejera, as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. He has really struggled against right-handed pitching so far this year. His average against righties is pretty ugly. So wow, the throw pulls him off the bag. And this throw gets away from him. Number 55 steps in now. Here comes the first pitch. Swing and a ball chop foul right at home plate. Mm, got him out of his no front ball, foot. It's 0-2. Now he's probably lucky he didn't make contact on that one. Trying to get him to chase the cutter there, a ball and two strikes. Still now on one and two, you don't have to make the perfect pitch out there. The count is still well in your favor on the mound. Has to be thinking strikeout here. And he chased it in the dirt. In the dirt here. And he's going to make it there. up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. Rafael Guillen stands in. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out. And Matt, with the double play in order, they'll obviously be looking to induce another ground ball out of him right here. Oh, it's hit to third. Five. He's got it. The second for That's one. Out. Back to first, but it's right over his head. And here's why you always go... Number 55 will dig in. He's Number one for two in the ballgame. Number 55. First delivery to him on the way. Hard liner towards short. Oh, and that's knocked down. And the throw won't be in time as he'll be able to beat out the recovery throw at first. And when things are going well, right fielder, these are seven. the little things. Now to the plate, Seth Smith coming off the clutch. Two-run single his last time up. In the air, down the left field line and deep. Guillen giving chase. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. 
Jesus Montero will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Right side. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Five innings complete. Number 55 will no, bat no. down two for three Number in the ballgame. Has been solid at the plate for his team. One of the better performers in their lineup, I'd say. And that's ball inside one, no for fight. a ball, 1-0. and oh. Nail-binding time now in that third base dugout. Well, things are starting to spiral here, and you've got to make sure this doesn't spin completely out of control. Drives it the other way to deep right. Silva looks up, and this one is gone. A home run. So it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field, and the lead is now 7-2. Well, I think it's pretty fair nowadays to call this guy a young phenom out there. He's starting to get some national press, one of the better prospects around, and he gives you a look right there of why folks are so bullish on his future. A handful of fine individual performances to choose from in this one, boys, but what do you say we go ahead and let this man take home the hardware? He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, you see a couple of hits for him in the ball game. This one was tight throughout, but in the end, he really helped lead his guys to this victory. So that's a wrap here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Eric Karros and Steve Lyons, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching Fans MLB The Show. Score. And First for more, click on over to theshownation.com. The generals are victorious here, 7-4. Good night, everybody.